In today's episode, we unbox a set of Gibson Cayley pipes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. A student of mine, Mr. Daniel Butler, ordered himself a set of these Gibson Cayley pipes and was kind enough to have them be shipped to me before I, well, get them back to him so that we can all enjoy the unboxing of a new musical instrument. So let's not waste any time and get going. I always like seeing a box with an extra bit of cardboard on the top just in case you went a little deep with your knife. Be super careful with that knife edge. All right, so we're gonna take this out. Carefully remove some of this foam. Lots of bubble wrap, I like seeing that. Okay, reads inside right there, so that's good to know. Put that just to the side for now. And there are the pipes right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, wow, a nice green bag cover. That's like pool table green right there. And some gold fringe. Here we have the chanter. So there's a poly chanter right here. And let's keep looking at the rest of this. We have a poly blowpipe. And then moving on to the drones. Carefully cut a couple pieces of tape here. All the drones are right here. I was wondering if the tops might still be in the box, but no, the tops are right here. Absolutely lovely. We have a satin finished brass, it looks like, with Coco Bolo drones. Or that's my best guess, it's Coco Bolo. If that's wrong, it'll say below. And yes, the top of the bass drone here. Okay, they seem well hemped from the factory. Things are going well. What kind of bag do we have here? Let's investigate. All right, we have a Bannatine medium bag. I don't feel any sort of moisture control, but I believe all the reeds are plastic, so that might not matter. And let's just take a look real quick right here. Yes, Gibson Cocobolo Kaylee pipes fireside in the key of A, and there is the chanter read. So I'm going to check right here and see and make sure we do indeed have all three reads. And on these Kaylee pipes, they are practice chanter style reads as opposed to a single read, which you'll be seeing on screen right now that some and many small pipes have. This one instead has all practice chanter reads. Now in my recent experience of playing practice pipes, as I'm kind of calling this variety of pipe, a subset of small pipes where all of the reeds are a double reed design, I find they tend to stay in tune better and longer. I don't have to be messing with the tuning every time I play the same way I do when the drone reeds are a more traditional single tongue variety. The valve is nice and tight. It's wrapped into the end of the blowpipe, traditional style. And let's get the reed in this chanter. I'm just gonna give it a wee go by face first. Seems to have a lovely sound right there. So we're gonna stick it into the pipes. I'm gonna move this table and we're gonna go at this set. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can get these drones attuned. I have some Q-tips right here that actually work fairly well if you kind of break them in half or well, even if you don't, to get them the ends of these drones because there aren't any stoppers at least none that I can see. And sometimes you need to, well, stop off a drone. So I've already taped up the channer to get it in tune. And if you play the bagpipes, you're aware channers typically need tape. Um, the low G is a bit interesting and slightly sharp. There are no tone holes on the bottom of this. So the bell itself is the tone hole. So Illin pipe style, I actually shoved some sticky tack 
in the bottom of it to try to flatten it a little bit, but it's still on the sharp side. Uh, there's just not much I can do about it. Maybe I could get like a length of copper tubing and extend it out slightly, but with its current design, there's just not much you can do about the low G. But the rest of it's coming in pretty well. Let's see if we can get these drones in. So there's a rubber band bridle on these drone reeds, which again, oh, whistle, whistle, whistle. They are practice channer style reeds, but they do have bridles. I'm gonna go ahead and move the bridle down just a bit on the base to see if we can get it just a little bit more stable. It's moving more than the tenor, and I tend to find the one that's moving the most tends to be the one that is the most air efficient, it needs to be opened up a little bit more. So maybe if we can get this base to take just a bit more air, it will settle down against that tenor. But the nature of any set of drones that has practice channel reads, they're not gonna be as stable. So remember I said earlier about they tend to stay in tune once you get them in tune? Well, keeping them in tune pressure-wise could be a much larger challenge because double reads by their design are less stable against varying pressure than a single tongued reed design. So keep that in mind as well. <laughs> I definitely think that helped stabilize that bass a little bit. So now coming in with this Harmony drone, this is to be playing an E, and I'm gonna see if I can just bring it in with the other two sounding, or if I need to go ahead and stop them off and play it against a solitary E, we'll find out. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop her up the base and tenor, again, using those Q-tips. Being quite careful to not move the tops. Hopefully they stay in tune. <sighs>
There'll be a full photo gallery on the set at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And as I've said before, any practice style small pipe, and again, I'm defining that as a small pipe with practice channel style reads for your drone reads as shown again right here, is going to be inherently less stable than a single read counterpart. But when you get the drones in tune, they tend to stay in tune for longer periods of time because as all the reeds warm up, they tend to move approximately the same amount because both bodies of the reed are vibrating versus just one. That at least seems to be the case. There you go everybody a little sound on the gibson kaylee pipes here an interesting addition to the small pipe mix i love the look of the coco bolo and the kind of satin bronze mounts ferrules all over this is quite lovely the chanter is a unique design i'm not sure i'm convinced that the lack of tone holes uh, was the right call. Again, it makes tuning the low G, um, well, kind of not entirely available, and the G is a bit sharp, but as you heard in the recordings, it still sounds quite lovely. All the reeds are plastic. There is no need for additional moisture control. Comes with a Bannatine medium bag, plastic blowpipe with a flapper valve already installed, and in this case, a lovely bright green bag cover. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you got something out of this video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also have a Patreon and a special shout out to Mr. Michael Dingus, my number one supporter. You'll see names now of folks scrolling up. These are people who support the channel monthly. I'd love to add your name to this list. You often get early access to videos and other perks, so go check out my Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have some bagpipe themed merchandise like this prescription bagpipe mug, but there's also the Command Your Bagpipe line in t-shirts, again mugs, hoodies, all sorts of stuff, so go over and check out the merch store. Well thank you so much for watching everybody, I'm Matt Willis, and until next time, cheers.